Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out a couple of new cream products. These are new to my collection. I recently purchased them in my Ulta haul. If you haven't watched it, I will link it down below. And I'm just going to be testing them out. I have a concealer, contour, blush, and highlight. So this is going to be a very simple makeup look, but I really want to see how long these products do last on my skin for days where, you know, you just don't feel like doing a lot and you just want to work with cream. So we're going to be putting these to the test today so let's just go ahead and jump right in so I already went ahead and moisturized and primed my skin and I'm just quickly going to apply foundation I'm using my number seven stay perfect foundation I love this stuff you can find it at the drugstore and it just works amazing it lasts pretty much all day and I have like no problems with this so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly apply this Okay, so foundation is now blended out, and for concealer, I'm using this Julep Cushion Complex 5-in-1 Skin Perfector with Termic, and this says it has a natural demi-matte finish plus long-term brightening with Termic, and it says conceal, correct, illuminate, blur, and brighten with this effortless multitasking stick. So this is what the concealer looks like, and again, it's by Julep. So it does take a couple of twists to really get a good amount of product out. And I feel like this is a bit light for me. And I normally don't highlight my face like this this much anymore. I used to do it a lot, but I just did this to get the excess product out from like my under eyes and onto the rest of my face. And let's see how this blends out. So it blends out really nicely. It took little to no effort. And it actually is like a very smooth formula. But the real test is how it conceals my under eyes. So let's go ahead and blend out my under eyes. You do not need that much. And I feel like it's pretty full coverage because I have very dark under eyes. And it's doing a good job of covering that darkness. So my under eyes look pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. I think it covered really well. I'm actually quite surprised. And now we're going to go ahead and instead of setting the under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and apply some cream contour. This is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit. And I don't normally do this, but we are testing out products. And this is like the mini version of the Quickie Contour Stick. But since we are testing out products, I figured... I would give this a try. This is going to be a very simple look, like a basic makeup look, but what we're really testing is how well these products can hold up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start blending out the cream contour. And I'm not doing it with the side where I applied foundation. I'm using like the opposite side, the pointy end. And what I'm noticing is it actually blends out pretty easily. It's not very, like, harsh. And I personally like blending this out with a sponge. You can go ahead and use a brush. I just don't want it to, like, pick up my foundation. So it kind of is there. It added a little bit of, like, warmth onto the cheeks. But I feel like I would have to really kind of build it up and... I don't want anything too intense, so I'm fine with it being a bit subtle. And now we're going to use this blush. Aliote, I believe is how you say it. Blush. And it says it's a face and lip tint, and it's in the shade Blooming Berry. Seems very pigmented, so you do not need a lot, just a little bit. And I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand, like so. I hope this is a good idea. Oh, this is so bright. So I'm just going to tap a little bit on the cheeks and then go ahead and get my beauty sponge and just blend it in. For like a light flush of color. And I'm doing this before setting my face because if you put it on top of powder, it's just going to cling on to 
the powder and not really blend well. And you can also blend it out with your fingers, but I personally prefer the sponge. That actually looks really pretty. Like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it just looks like rosy cheeks. And I still have like a ton on my hand. Let's see how this will look as a lip color. That actually looks really pretty on the lips and it's very moisturizing as well and now for my like favorite step highlight this is the benefit what's up highlighter and i'm just going to how am i gonna apply this i think i'm just going to like press it onto the high points or actually i think i'm just gonna do it and apply it like this onto the skin that is so intense and then getting a clean side of my sponge and then just blending it out. I have no idea how people apply this product, honestly. But it looks really pretty on the skin. I just don't want it to like pick up my foundation. Let me know if you guys have used this and how you guys like applying it. I'm going to try picking some up with like my brush. Or just, I'm going to just dot it on instead of swiping it. And then blending it out. And I'm not a cream type of person, honestly. I prefer powder. But I had, like, pretty much a full face to do cream. So I figured I would try this out. some on my chin so now that I have it on like I'm pretty sure like my contour blush is pretty visible it's very like lightweight so this could almost be like an everyday type of makeup tutorial just using cream products and it looks very pretty and natural so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to set my face with the Lottie London ready set go translucent powder I did want to try out a new translucent powder that I recently purchased, but I didn't want to try it and then it kind of have an effect of how like these new products look on my skin. So I'm just going to use something I know that I like and I'm quickly going to blend out my under eyes one more time. And then set them. And I'm also going to set certain areas on the rest of my face. And then what I'm going to do is with a larger fluffy brush, so this doesn't move around during the day, I'm going to lightly press a tiny amount onto this area because I really want to see how long these cream products last and if they're worth it like can they last as long as powder once you set them with translucent powder that's what I want to see because it looks very pretty how like natural the skin looks and since this is a very like natural look I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply a little bit of brow gel and I'm actually surprised at how much I like this like natural makeup look. I know I don't do a lot of makeup tutorials using like cream products. So I figured since I had a couple new ones, I would test them out on camera. Because I know there are some people who really like the minimal look and love using cream products. So let's see how long these last on their own. And I will be back. Oh, let me go ahead and let you guys know what time it is. It is 11.27 a.m. And I will be back at the end of the day to let you guys know how this makeup has held up. So it is now 8.11 in the evening and this is how the products have held up. Here's a close up of my under eyes. They have creased a ton which doesn't normally happen like this bad for me and it just looks like I have very dark under eye circles which I do but my concealer pretty much has already worn off. My highlight is still there. It's 
actually very bright still and my cheek products so my blush and bronzer are still there they are still holding up i am not sure how i feel about this concealer so i will be testing it out for one more day and i will let you guys know my final thoughts in the next clip all right so it has been a couple of days since i have been testing the julep cushion complexion concealer and so i finally came to my final like thoughts on it at first I thought I liked it even though it had like creased and kind of disappeared on my under eye area but that's kind of why I wanted to continue using it before giving you guys my final thoughts because I knew they were going to change because I was very unsure about the product and so I am going to say I have to pass on this although it looks good on the skin the color is something that really throws me off 130 ivory is the shade I have it in and I believe it is one of like the darker colors for the concealer and it just didn't seem right once I used it with a different foundation BB creams like I was testing it out with different products and I just saw that it wasn't the right color and after a while it just kind of did the same thing as either my Tarte Shape Tape, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, like there's other concealers I like that are not as pricey as this one and another big thing is like the applicator, like I'm not really a fan of it but this is the color of the concealer. It is very like yellow toned and I just felt like it wasn't doing much for me that's what it looks like blended out I wasn't really happy with it the formula is all right it doesn't really last that great on the under eyes and if I'm going to be paying $30 which is what this retails for I didn't realize that until I just looked it up and at Ulta they sell it for $30 and let's go ahead and see how many colors they have in this which they only have four colors and they are all pretty light 130 ivory is actually the darkest one and it's described light ivory with warm neutral undertones and I feel like it's very yellow toned and their range really isn't that big so if you have darker skin tone than me you cannot try this and I have a very light skin tone so this range isn't really for everyone and I'm not really a fan of the consistency the applicator and the longevity really isn't there for me but all the other cream products that I did test out in this video the blush the highlight and the contour are all winners to me because they did do a great job of holding up for a pretty good amount of time I believe I wore them for over nine hours if not longer and the highlight was what was still like very much there and even though it is a cream I'm wearing it today and I mean it's very visible uh the best way I like applying it is just going in and drawing it on and then getting a brush applying a little bit on the brush and then kind of blending it out I feel like it looks best when I do it that way and it just blends better and I'm actually surprised I'm still using this, but I really do like it. So I hope you guys like this video. Sadly, the concealer did not work out for me, but I'm happy I reviewed it and really took the time because I did wear it for about four days with different foundations and I really got my final opinions on it because $30 on a concealer, I mean, it's more expensive than Tarte Shape Tape and a lot of people love Tarte Shape Tape. And it has a lot more colors, so it's more flexible for people to use rather than this one that only has four colors. So, I hope you guys like this video, this review, and let me know what other cream products or what other products in general you guys would like me to test out. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!